Anna didn't like my other sign. Bring your knees up to your chest. We're gonna start in the middle and go down and then go up with our stretch, okay? All right, now slow this down. Grab that knee and pull it up, okay? Lean up against the wall if you need to. But as you can see, I'm holding on for dear life and I'm circle, circling my ankle, okay? Bring it down, try the other side and circle that ankle. Okay, all right, bring it up and pull, up and pull, we're alternating. Okay, take your time. I'll do enough of these so you get at least a couple of them under your belt. <clears throat> okay. All right, so let's do a rotation. Okay, same side. We're externally rotating, meaning we're bringing it up to the front of us and then around. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and around as if I'm trying to get on uh, and around on a horse. That's one thing, Circus Club, there is equestrian riding now. They're taking lessons, which is great news. So it's going back and around, okay? Let's go to the other side. Okay, now bring those legs out. I'll back up too. So those legs are out. You're gonna bend your knees and open up those hips. I am letting, I'm giving, putting my knees in line with my feet. Here's a good opportunity to take a deep breath in. Exhale. Straighten out those legs. Now keep one of them straight, the other one bends. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to the counter, hold on to your chair. Okay, other side again. This always feels good for me. Switch sides. One more time. When you're in this position, you can push your hips back and that changes the stretch to more of the hamstring as well, but it still is definitely the inner thigh. Okay, here we go. Bring your feet in a little bit closer. I think I had them up too far this that first time. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a shoulder towards the screen and I'm getting a stretch all the way down one side of my back, but it's mostly focusing on your thoracic, which is that mid back. I'm not winking at you guys. I just took my dogs for a walk and the pollens are out in full force. GIs. Okay, here, come on up. Arms come up over the head. Let me move the screen. <clears throat> arms over the head. My feet are still wide, okay? More than hip width. Bring your arms up again. <clears throat> again, let's hold them up here now. Keep them up there, interlock your fingers. Keep your feet as wide as they are, not any wider than what I have them. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm opening up the ribs. Okay, back to the center. Let's go the same side again. I'm just trying to keep it different, keep you guys on your toes. Some of you I bet alternated. Back to the center. I am unpredictable in some things. Open up. I think my husband laced me with decaffeinated coffee. I have, feel like I have fog over my brain, over my eyes. Arms come down, hands come down to your legs. Rotate, rotate, bring back up. Side bend, not side bend, we're uh, stretching the inner thigh, okay? Here we go, back to the hands on the knees. Rotate, rotate, all right. Keep those legs far apart, palms come up, interlock your fingers, open up, 
and open up. All right, arms come down, we make big circles with those arms. Now you know why I have the legs apart because we're bringing back those stretches that we started with. Okay, hands down on your knees, drop the shoulder, drop the shoulder, come up, straighten out one leg, then the other, and then the other. Okay, arms come up. Now don't interlock them. Okay, bring your feet a little closer together. Now we're going to go over the feet. Drag our fingers, cross, and come up, okay? Three big circles, that counts as one. There's our two, one more, and we switch. Other side. And other side. I'm gonna go one more on this side. Whether I did three or not, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, arms together. Patty, you're stuck in the frozen in the screen. Patty. Patty, you're frozen. You're frozen. I know, and I thought I, I think I got locked out, so. Um, all right. Okay, so, but I'm not pinned, so I can't see. I gotta, maybe I can double click on my. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, I'm talking to Gordon, guys. Gordon says hi. I guess I had frozen face. Hopefully I was smiling when I was freezing. <laughs> okay, so all I did was I combined everything we did, okay? And now I'm on to that side bend though with my feet are close together and I open up. Okay, alternating. Okay, bring those arms down. We're gonna go arms all the way around, big circles. We've done this, I'm not, I know that I'm repeating, but that's what it is about what it's about today, okay? But we're gonna go the other way now. Alternating. Okay? Now let's bring them together, okay? Shake those arms out. Yeah, I'm back on. And all the way around. Just confirm with it. One more time. Okay, now let's swing side to side. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little lower leg action. So I'm gonna lower this just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing with my feet. So we're gonna rotate that ankle. And after we do this, we're gonna stretch out the top of the leg. Okay, grab your foot and stretch the top of that leg out. Okay, and back, rotate again. And pull it up. This one feels great on me. I think I uh, have some tight quads today. Rotate that other side. So what we're getting ready for is to do our walkouts, those inchworms. And uh, we're gonna do some runner stretch, and then we're gonna go into the core. Okay, one more time. Circle that ankle. 
and back up. So exactly what I just did is about worthy enough to get on a bike or go for a hike. We stretched everything out. Uh, we've spent maybe 10 minutes on that because I know that I've frozen, but that's a nice warm up prep for any type of a cardio uh, or strength training workout. So I'm gonna bring you down here. And now we are gonna go into those inchworms. Now that inchworm, if you don't wanna go all the way down, you can walk out and have yourself on the edge of like your chair or now I'm going to step forward into that runner stretch and the other side, okay? And then walk back. But on a chair, you can put your foot up in that runner stretch. Okay, here we go. Let's do it again. Try to keep your hands as close to your feet as possible and keep those heels down on this one, okay? Heels down as you walk out. Heels down. Diane and Paul, keep your heels down. Mary Rudolph, I know that you guys pop your heels up about right here. Keep them down, okay? Now pop them up. You're in that straight arm plank. No, I don't see you guys, but I just know from training you that I always watch those heels pop up. Okay, drive those heels downward, okay? Downward, I'm gonna show off. Look, I can touch. And now I'm gonna walk my hands up. Oh, that feels really good. Just stay there, just hunched over. Good deep stretch in the hamstring. You can be holding onto your chair right here and doing the same exact thing, okay? All right, let's go into our plank. Walk out. Don't worry about those heels down. Just go into that plank on your elbows. Well, thank goodness Lynn's, uh, Bliss takes my class because otherwise Gordon would not have known that I was absolutely frozen on the screen. I'm glad I'm back. Hold your belly in, okay? Suck it in. Suck it in. Hold it. And that's our 30 seconds. Let's go for 15 more. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, you're gonna go into your Superman now on hands and knees. Reach, opposite leg, opposite hand. Hold it there. Let's think about the balance. Holding the belly in, reaching as far as you can. Flex that foot, flex your foot, and now let's switch, okay? When you hold the stretch or hold this position for a longer period of time, it just means you do less, that's all. Okay. One for each side, let's stretch out in that child's pose. Hands in front. Don't put your hands on top of each other. Keep them shoulders width apart. Put your head down. All right, come up into the all fours. Now let's drive that heel back. See that? Get a nice stretch in the calf muscle. Again, push it back. Alternate, one more time. Other side. All right, straight arm plank, okay? Here we go. We're in the straight arm plank. We're gonna lift one hand up the other hands. We're alternating. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. The clock is right in front of me and so I'm not going to lose it. We are halfway there. If this bothers your shoulders, just hold the position like this. You can hold it like that. That's the modified version. Okay, five seconds. Feel your shoulders. All right, back to the Superman. Straighten that leg, foot is flexed. Reach with the opposite hand. Okay, 
It's just a 15 second hold. Switch. All right, back to the child's pose. Arms, same width as your hands, same width as your shoulders. Let that head go down. All right, we're going into the side planks. The side plank, we've not, I don't think I've done this yet since we've uh, been zooming, but this is that side plank where your arm is straight, okay? I have to be careful with my left side what we're going to do is we're going to rotate. Okay, I look, took a peek at the clock. We're going to go 15 seconds doing this. Arms comes up. Okay, if you're here, you're not using the, the abs as much. You're using your shoulders. So get that up there so you're nice and level. Rotate as you can. Okay, there's our 20 seconds. Let's go to the other side. Okay, you guys set? The sooner you get set, the more you get to do. How about that? That's an incentive not to slow it down. Okay, here we go. My arm is straight up in the air, and I'm going to touch. Okay? When I touch, I really can identify with those obliques. And come on down. I'm going to show you a modified version because we're going to do it again. So all of you who are like the Caitlin's and the Paul Salaberry's out there in this world, Mary, I know you can do it. Diane, you guys are going to do the straight arm, okay? But I've got to show people like my sister the modified version, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to go all the way back. So my elbow's in the middle of my mat and I'm going to try to take my other hand and I'm going to try to touch the other side of the mat, okay? Keep rotating. The hip up. Yes, Kathy, I just threw you under the bus. I called you out. But honesty gets us everywhere, right? Oh, especially in humor. Other side. <clears throat> 20 seconds. Straight arm or bent, those knees can come up, but here's the other. So once you have graduated from this, you stack your feet, you're on your elbow. And what this does is it just takes the shoulders out of it. So my shoulders don't have to work near as hard, but my abs do, okay? <clears throat> Rotate, try to touch past that midline, past the elbow that you're leaning on. <clears throat> I'm gonna go one more. Yep, I forgot to look at the clock. Okay, those are good. We're not doing those tomorrow, just for the record, but so show up one way or the other. Um, have your towel near or your band for stretching out those hamstrings. All right, let's go into some, actually have it now, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to it. The towel or the band, hold on to it. And what you're going to do is you're just going to resist it. You're going to pull it apart. There's nothing soft about it. It's got to be tense, okay? It's going to go over my head where my arms are straight and they're lined up to my ears, okay? And now I'm going to march my legs as I'm pulling. <clears throat> what I like about this one is it reminds me of doing the lat pull down. And lat pulls are all in the fitness centers right now. We don't have them at home, so this one kind of helps us. It's working that bra line, and pulling as we are marching our legs. Okay, keep the tension on that towel or the yoga strap, whatever you have. The small of your back is down. And take a rest. Put that back there. We'll come back to be continued, okay? Now, put your hands behind your head. Give it a good support. What we're going to do is we're going to put our feet up in the air and try to be as tight of a ball as possible. So we're going to bring our knees into our elbows. But don't let your feet go too far back. The further we go, 
the back is most likely going to pop up. Uh, I don't want the back to pop up, okay? It's so, a nice tight ball. We're going to go for 10 more. Four to go. I can't count during this one. This one's hard for me. Three, two, and one. Okay, long stretch. Long stretch, arms over the head. Open up those ribs. Create some space between the ribs and your hips. Suck in the belly. Deep breath in. At this point, your heart rate might be up, and so it's hard to breathe just through the nose, and I understand that. So obviously you're breathing through your mouth, which is just fine. And we still got two more minutes, okay? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna pull it, and we're gonna lift our legs up, then we're gonna bring them in and out, okay? Instead of alternating, put tension on that towel, Okay, if this is too hard, just alternate it then. So you're doing this one, you're marching, okay? For those studs out there, curl up those hips. Don't let the little small of your back come up. Five to go. Keep that chin down, tuck it in. Head is down, don't lift your head up. All right, take a rest. All right, put that down. Hands behind the head. We're gonna go back to this one. It's a nice tight crunch, double crunch. Ten more to go. I've got three more to go. Keep it going, guys. And three. All right, hips up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that right leg and extend it and bring it back down, okay? You have a hot cup of coffee, hot cup of tea on your tummy, and do not let it spill, okay? It's especially important when you switch feet. Don't just drop it and bring it up, okay? You gotta be steady Freddy, steady Betty, sweaty Betty. I'm wearing her pants right now. They're super tight. I'm gonna say they're comfortable, but by a size larger than you would normally. Oh. We are tight the waist. Okay, keep going. You should be feeling this in your glutes, guys. A little bit on the top of the legs. Okay, let's take a rest. Roll your knees into your chest. All right, let's start stretching again, okay? We've got a little over 20 minutes. Hopefully you can stay a little later after all that screen freezing. Okay, put your feet down. Arms are open. As our heart rate comes down a little bit, we'll go back to breathing through the nose. For those stretching um, exercises. This feels really good in the low back. Okay. All right, now let's isolate that. So we're gonna straighten out one of the legs. The other leg is bent. And you're going to take it all the way to the floor if you can. Hold the touch. Your arms are out, keeping your shoulders down. My shoulder on the side that I'm stretching is not down. It popped up, but my fingernails and my knuckles are touching. Deep breath in on that stretch. Okay, let's go to the other side. 
that leg, tuck that foot in. You see how close I have it to my glute? And now I'm gonna rotate it, okay? I am a little looser on this side, I think, because I can keep my elbow back of my hand and my shoulder down. Unless I go all the way, then it pops up. Deep breath in. And bring it back, okay? Let's complement that with a pelvic tilt, okay? Because we just opened up that sacroiliac joint and the L1 through five, so let's make it happy and do a pelvic tilt. Pelvic tilt is your, your, your hips. If you watch my hands, I am moving my hips forward and now I'm backing them up as if my hips are wheels. Forward and then back. Secure it down. Dig your fingers into your belly to make sure everything's tight. If you can't feel that, lift your head up and that'll help stretch it out even more, okay? And keep that back down. Okay, I think we're all ready to stretch those hamstrings. So go ahead and put this. We're gonna go to the ball of the foot. So we're gonna incorporate the, the calf muscle. I'm gonna pop the screen up a little bit, but go ahead and start stretching. Line that foot up to your uh, same side shoulder, okay? Drive that toe down. Drive meaning use those hands to pull and get a nice, nice, nice intense. Nice and intense don't really go together, do they? But they go together in exercise. Because our twisted minds love burn, love pain. Okay, you see my foot is up, but I'm ready to bring it down to make that stretch even more intense. Okay, now we're gonna skip the opposite shoulder. We're gonna go straight over. I gotta put this a little bit more on the ball of my foot. What I'm gonna do is I wanna turn my toe in. So now my toe is pointing towards the floor and now I'm lowering it. And now I feel a nice stretch. Not intense, but it's nice right here and alongside. Now if I pull it forward, it's majorly in the hamstring. Holy Toledo. And the outside of your lower leg. This is great for you hikers. Okay, bring it back. So if we pull that foot, if I am pulling it, okay, turning my toe, big toe towards me, towards the midline of my body, and I'm getting a really nice, I'm tugging, I'm getting a really nice stretch here. Okay, all right, line it back up. Now put the put the towel right into the arch so we can not focus on chest, calf muscles and line it to the opposite shoulder, okay? And pull. Feel the stretch, hamstrings. Okay, this one is gonna go out so you can feel the stretch in your inner thigh. Don't let it go to the floor, okay? Keep it up. If it goes to the floor, lift it up about 18 inches and pull it towards you, okay? Because then it stays in those adductors of all you lungers out there. Okay, I believe we did everything, yep. Okay, ball of your foot first, okay? Drive that toe down towards your belly button, okay? It, makes, it should really kind of knock the wind right out of you. All right, it's time to let that leg go straight. Think about those hamstrings now. Oh, that feels so good. Nice hamstring stretch. Okay, turn, turn that toe in. Your toe is now towards the floor, stretching out those peroneals, which are the side uh, lower leg muscles. And I'm gonna go about 18, 24 inches, eh, right around there, and pull. Don't forget to pull and don't forget to breathe. My leg is pretty straight. I am not putting the soft bend in, I'm really, Oops, but I did relax that foot. 
Okay, bring it back. All right, reposition so that, that band into the arch. Pull on it. And now bring it to the opposite shoulder. I could stay here for another two minutes, but I'm not. I'm going to take it back here and don't take it all the way. Pull it, pull it forward. If you just let it drop, then you're not pulling on that hamstring, okay? I'm going to call you out for those that are not stretching it. Pull and then bring it forward or bring it out. And that, my friends, is a stretch in that inner thigh. Okay, all right, um, I think we got it. So let's take that off. Put both feet together, grab those ankles, try to put your feet together, bottoms of your feet. If you can't, that's okay. You can just go like this and pull on those knees and get a nice inner thigh stretch. Good for the hips, okay? Bring your legs up and you're gonna do the same. And what you're gonna do is point and flex. This is a mean one. <laughs> mean patty. My circus club friends are sick and tired of the mean Aunt Patty story. I am not going to bore you with that one. I think Kathy, my sister, knows that one. Okay, bring them back in. I'm really not mean. Pull those feet in. Feel that nice deep stretch in that inner thigh. Okay, bring them together. Back to the pelvic tilt. Repeat. Okay, side to side. Okay. Okay, so now straighten one leg out and roll it and straighten it now, okay? Last time we did it here, but this time we are ready to straighten out that leg. Now what I want you to do is look the opposite way, okay? That just made the stretch a little bit more isolated into the back. Okay, bend your knee, bring it back. Other side. Okay, roll to the side. Now straighten it out. And look the other way. Breathe through this stretch. Okay, now bring it back. Repeat, pelvic tilt. Now, just for the heck of it, because I know deep down in your heart, you love the bicycle elbow to knee. And we normally don't do that by now, but let's do it anyway. So let's go full minute of bicycle elbow to knee. And what I want you to key in on is how loose your back is when you do it, how loose your hamstrings are when you do it, and how warmed up and better it feels, okay? So on the 45 seconds, here we go, one minute. Hold your head. If you need to modify, which I don't think any of you need to, put the foot down and it's gonna look like this, okay? Take your time. There is no rush in this one. You wanna lift up and over. Breathe through it. Out the mouth, most likely. We're going for the full minute, and we are more than halfway. Okay, we've got 15 seconds. This is too easy, lower those legs, okay? Lower them to that lower part of the wall. And two, and one, and take a rest. Oh, that felt delightful. Again, doesn't go well with exercise, but us twisted sorts that are in the industry. 
abs are delightful. Okay, you are going to roll yourself up and over onto your belly. If your back doesn't like that extension, then you're going to have to do this kneeling maybe or standing up. But what I want to do is isolate the quads by lying down. <clears throat> I'm going to bring my heel to my butt and then I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to look face down so I'm not twisting my neck and I'm going to pull. I just want to make sure I'm in the screen. Yep. I want to pull that heel to my glute. And I'm really feeling this in my thighs, okay? One thigh, singular, quads, plural. It should feel, for me, it feels awesome. A stretch all the way up into the hip flexor, all the way down to my knee. Okay, I'm gonna straighten that one out. I'm gonna do the other side. Switch, please. If you're having trouble holding on to it, you take that band and pull it, okay? And that's the other way to do it, is pull. That allows you to relax your shoulders. Breathe through this stretch, guys. Make it more specific. Okay, now, for you acrobatic types, you're going to hold on to both of them, okay? Trust that your head is down, your chin is on your mat, and you look for your feet and pull them down. Fill up that belly with air. Fill your lungs, I know. Okay, bring them down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the focus onto the upper body, okay? You can do this on your hands and knees, okay? Bring them this way, okay? This is the motion. We're gonna do it on our belly to uh, promote more shoulder stability uh, and mobility. It's really a combination. You're gonna feel the muscle groups back here and those, um, the bigger part of the rotator cuff. It's not the tendon, but it's the muscles of the rotator cuff. Okay, so my head is down facing the mat. My hands are in front. I'm gonna lift them up and I'm gonna bring them around. Okay, I can rotate my hands, palms up, so my thumbs can touch my legs and then rotate them back so my palms are down towards the floor and they, my hands are not touching, okay? I'm about four inches off the floor. I'm rotating so my hands can go behind my back, okay? My glutes are squeezed, so I'm stabilizing my low back. My abs are tight. Hold it tight and bring those arms forward and front. And now we're gonna do some pulses. So lift those hands up, tuck that chin in, keep your neck neutral, keep those glutes squeezed, abs tight. And relax. All right, that was a mean Aunt Patty trick because that should have been hard for every single one of you guys. And if it's not, congratulations. All right, so back to the child's pose. Hands are right in front of you, width, shoulders width. Stretch out that small, or the small of your low back. Okay, come back up. Now move your hand over to the edge of your mat and put the hand in front of it and you're going to drag it as you sit back into that child's pose. Okay, come back up. Let's go to the other side. So my hand's on the edge of the mat, my other hand's in front and I'm dragging it. Get a nice stretch in my lats. Head goes down, tuck your ear to your arm. Okay, and come back up. All right, now we're on our hands and knees. We're gonna open up the back, the mid back, angry cat, sinking 
our belly button towards the floor. Okay, go into neutral, so my back is straight, and I'm going to take that elbow, I'm gonna go down to my wrist on the opposite side and hold it up, okay? There's one. Two, I'm going for five. Three. Four. Five, other side. Two to go. And bring it down. We've got our runner stretch now, okay? So if you need a little extra cushion, I like to cushion up because I'm on this concrete. Um, I like to put my knee on a little bit of a pad. Forward, okay? We're gonna incorporate the shoulders. Keep them nice and warm. We're gonna bring our arm up over the head. My palm is facing up. Pop this up a little bit so you can see my clutter upstairs. In that cabinet. Uh, okay. Opening up all those abdominals. My knee is not over my toe. Okay, straighten it out. So I want you to do this one now. Okay, while you do this, I'm gonna scoot back. Okay, so go bend, bend forward again, arm in front. I have my palm or my thumb up. There we go. Press, okay. If this bothers your back, stay right here, hold those abs tight and do a tuck, and then you're gonna get that hip flexor, okay? Straighten out that front leg, bring that toe up. Okay, let's switch sides. Okay, press those hips forward. And it's up in the air. Where are your eyes? Probably looking at the screen, but if you want, you trust the stretch, look up a little bit up, not up towards the ceiling, but to uh, the middle, to the higher part of your wall, or out the window. And straighten out that front leg, toe is up. Back to that stretch. One more time, straighten out that leg. All right, let's have a seat. Let's sit down. I'm gonna put the bottoms of our feet together, soles of our feet. There we go. Okay, another stretch in that inner thigh. Hold on to your toes, lean forward. This isn't so good. If your back is super rounded, then lean back. You're gonna lean back so that your back can stay neutral, okay? Otherwise, you're here and you lean forward. Okay, now what we're gonna do is soul fashion hurdler stretch. We're gonna lean forward. Okay, so for those of you who can do this, uh, there's two things that you're going to do. You're either going to do this one or you're going to do this one, okay? So I've got one foot back and one foot forward. And what I'm trying to do is to try to keep my shoulders level. And I have a little space on the leg that's back. So this is my right leg. My right sit bone is, is off. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a little bit of um, traction to help my sacroiliac joint feel a little bit uh, more uh, even or looser, okay? So for those of you who can't do that because it's um, it doesn't feel good on your knee, then just keep your legs straight and get a stretch this way, okay? All right, go the other side. So again, that hurdler stretch or this. Or both, you can alternate, but I like to have this one. You can try this this afternoon if you're reading something. You um, can set it up just like how I have it. I have my uh, laptop on a stool. 
and you can read as you are stretching that sacroiliac joint area, okay? All right, now both feet are out. Again, you can put your legs, or your, your legs are out, but your hands are back here, or you can hold yourself up nice and straight. Again, none of this, it's not worth it. So go back here and push out your belly towards the, towards the screen, and then walk your hands closer. So what you're trying to accomplish is more mobility in that back, okay? All right, so let's go back, cross the legs, get them out of the way. Legs are out of it. We're gonna start stretching our shoulders, roll them. Okay, at this point you can be in your chair. I just, uh, my chair's way over there with the stability ball on it. So I'm just gonna sit on the floor. So e either way, have a seat. Um, and it just reminded me, we did not stretch the piriformis. Um, my apologies, but I can show you at the end, okay? So, but I wanna stretch our neck out. So the ear goes to the shoulder. I knew there was one thing I was missing when we did the hamstring. We went through it so quick. All right, other side. Okay, now turn your head, not all the way, just halfway. So you're still within your shoulder. Drop that shoulder, or your nose down, chin down, and get a stretch in your traps. Move a Vader scapula. That one always feels really good to me. And you can make it even more uh, by putting your hands behind you. Turn and drop. All right, we're going to um, stand up and we're gonna stretch the tricep. You can stay seated if you're in a chair, but we're gonna stretch the tricep. Okay, other side. Arms come down, put them together, get those elbows touch, bring them around. Okay, elbows touch, as high as you can, and open them up. Okay, um, that figure four stretch, you can do it standing up or sitting down, but I'm gonna hold onto the wall, I cross my leg, and I lean forward. Okay, that's the other way to do it. We typically do it on the chair, or on the um, on the mat, so I'm holding on and I'm leaning forward. Okay, and I'm alternating. And that is a good 50 minutes of stretching. Um, thanks for joining you all.